Hey there, stranger. Hold up a minute. Haven't seen you in the bleachers yet. We like to greet newcomers, you know. You got business down here? What's the story with this place? We are in the bleachers district of Diamond City, stranger. From Mr. Dr. Pepper's diner around to the sheriff's department, this is our home. We're a pretty tight-knit community way out here. And with all the synth activity, we try to meet strangers as soon as possible, if you understand. Can I ask you something? Yeah, I suppose I got time. If nothing else, I can find out why you're down here. What's up? Can I ask you some questions? Shoot! So, what's your story? The name's Lily, Adam Cat, and Curia. I supply the Sheriff's Department with power armor parts and supplies from the Adam Cats way out beyond Quincy. I used to recondition the parts at the Adam Cat's garage and then haul them here. But the tools here are so much better, and the ride from Quincy is long. I began spending more time here cleaning up the armor. It just became easier to move down here instead of packing for long stays all the time. Most of my courier time is spent fetching power armor from the Atom Cats, but I do work on the side for squares and merchants if the caps are good. Heard any good rumors? DP's got the hots for Barbara. It's kind of cute how he trips over himself when she's around. He thinks he's being subtle, but she knows what's up. She said she'll probably come around someday, but doesn't want to ruin it by moving too fast. Whatever that means. She's the scientist. Got any work? Hmm. Well, normally I'm the one who does the work, but this is a bit different as it's something I've been eyeing a while to get for myself. You see, there's a brand spanking new motorcycle engine just sitting at the Corvega factory waiting to be used. But that place is infested with raiders dug in like rad ticks. And I don't mean just a campfire with jet heads. The whole fucking tribe is there. I've been waiting for years, but they're not leaving. I need a goon to go in with me and make them X-Raiders so I can get my motor. Do you have any more details? Only that it's probably gonna be crawling with the Corvega gang raiders. And I hate those fuckers. That's why you're coming. Extra bullets. Since there's only one large item and it's deep in the factory, a Brahmin isn't necessarily a useful or smart addition to the party. I'll be wearing my ACT-60 power armor, and I'll take care of hauling it on my back once we rig it. But even in the power armor, this many raiders is a tall order. Just tell me what we need so I can get started. I have to say, I didn't think you'd agree to dodge bullets with me for some caps. I'll remember that, and so will my friends. Well then, I got a courier stash at the Pulowski Preservation Park north of Beantown Brewery with some treats for both of us. Meet me there. Here we are. Grab what you need from the stash and gear up. Let me know when you're ready to move out. Hi. So, you ready to go do this thing? What are you looking for again? A motorcycle engine to carry home and Raiders' asses to kick. Just tell me what you need. That's the spirit. So I generally like to do these things with overwhelming firepower, but uh, there's only two of us, so we need a different approach. I know a hidden entrance to the east of the plant that won't be so messy and puts us deeper in the plant. 
closer to this motor. We're going to go in that way so we can catch them with their pants down. Makes the lead enema easier. This way. I was thinking on the way over here I wanted to clear the air between us. All the synth activity lately has us on guard. We're wary as strangers. And the sheriff's department has their hands full outside the wall. We have to patrol ourselves. It's not like they won't deal with a toaster if we find one for them. They're remarkably effective at it, but they don't have time to sniff them out. Me, DP, and Zeke grew up together in Diamond City. Barb loves it so much she jokes about taking a citizenship test. Yes, she jokes, believe it or not. The sheriff stayed around longer than we thought, and she comes to dinner invites. So we assume she likes it here, even if she's practically mute. We're the family we choose. Can't get much closer than that, short of the battlefield, I hear. Anyway, that's enough bad news for me. Did you know DP is trying to get a soda fountain running? He's found installation plans and pre-wall invoices. So he's reading up on the technical know-how, and the invoices tell him where all the shit was on Idiot Day 200 years ago. Wouldn't that be something? Zeke is gonna be so jealous when he hears we got a soda fountain. He's been wanting to get a legit malt shop going in his red rocket for years. I came out with him after he started the Atom Cats. I like to think we built something good in this world, but I miss Diamond City. Zeke? Not so much. But I still got my friends, and that's worth something to me. Did Bob tell you what she's trying to do in that greenhouse yet? Oh, it'll blow your mind. She's actually trying to get more than one type of food to grow on a vine, like potato and mute fruit, from the same exact plant. Isn't that weird? She'll do it one day. She did it for the flowers. But for food, she said she needs to turn off whatever it is that lets them grow together? Am I babbling again? Sorry. I do that. Oh. Wonder how much farther we've got to the plant.
this all day. When you <laughs> shit, lost him. So much more than the motor. We're talking tank, exhaust, tranny, radiator, fairing, seat, and holy shit, 
the limited edition tailpiece. And it's in mint condition. Look at this case. It's perfectly sealed. You know how long the Adam Cats have been trying to get this little gem? This is a holy grail. Only one thing in the world will make a cat as cool as Zeke jealous. And it's this beauty. Just look at it. Huh. So I guess this isn't anywhere near the hidden entrance I heard about. How about that? Alright, so this is gonna be a bit heavier than I anticipated. And quite a bit larger. I hope I brought enough chains and padding for the job. I brought a few extra fusion cores, so juice isn't an issue, but damned if I'm not gonna have to balance carefully. I'm gonna be top heavy. Okay, let's get this puppy mounted. Can you break the case glass for me while I lay the chains out? Thanks. Oh, holy shit! This thing is putting the drain on my fusion core, that's for sure. Reminds me of the time I hauled a behemoth nuts on my back. No way. You're lying. For real. Wellingham got in in his circuits to fry some up. Thankfully, I didn't have to kill the beast, but guess who had to haul him? Badewell? He wanted to wow the Codmans or something. Needless to say, don't order the great green oysters dish if you go up there. God, the smell. Anyway, you don't really want to know the details. I told you I'm a courier. So, let me balance out my servos, then turn the legs to 11. Nice. Nice. I can overload my bearings all the way back to Diamond City now. <laughs> all right. This is a high ticket item. And with the added weight, I'm burning through fusion cores faster than a ghoul burns through deodorant. Run point back to Diamond City for me. Go the way we came to minimize fights. I don't have the juice to haul this and fight by myself. Good. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Wait! <laughs> Time out! Time out! Oh, I got something in my eye! Holy shit! That was Harry! I can't believe we pulled that off! 
The whole Adam Katz garage is going to be talking about this for months. Wait till the others hear about the spanking you gave those raiders. Poof! Pow! Pew, 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 pew. You know? A little late to be wandering around a paranoid neighborhood, don't you think? <clears throat> oh, wow! Look at that engine. She's a beauty. Probably the last left anywhere. You know, you ain't so bad in a firefight neither. We could use someone with your talents down here. This is gonna make one hell of a dinner story. You earned every one of these caps, buddy. Hey, if you need more, I know the doc is always looking for people to find hard to pronounce things for her. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, my barons are smoking. I need to unload this damn motor before the core goes critical just supporting the weight.